You are a divine being capable of more than one experience at the same time and able to divide yourself into as many different selves as you choose. You can live the same life over and over again in different ways. And you can also live different lives at different times on the continuum. That's all the while you're being you here now. You can also be and have been other selves in other times and places. Just know this. You are a being of divine proportion, knowing no limitation. A part of you is choosing to know yourself as your presently experienced identity. Yet this is by far not the limit of your being, although you think that it is. Because you must think that it is, or you cannot do what you've given yourself this life to do. You are using all of life, all of many lives, to be and decide who you really are, to choose and to create who you really are, to experience and to fulfill your current idea about yourself. You are in an eternal moment of self-creation and self-fulfillment through the process of self-expression. You have drawn the people, events, and circumstances of your life to you as tools with which to fashion the grandest version of the grandest vision you ever had about yourself. This process of creation and recreation is ongoing, never-ending, and multi-layered. It is all happening right now and on many levels. In your linear reality, you see the experience as one of past, present, and future. You imagine yourself to have one life, or perhaps many, but surely only one at a time. But what if there was no time? You'd be having all of your lives at once. You are. You are living this life. You are living this life, your presently realized life. In your past, your present, your future, all at once. In your language, you call it premonition. From my viewpoint, it's simply an awareness. You are also living other lives, which you call past lives. Right now, it would be very difficult for you to play this wonderful game of life if you had full awareness of what is going on. Even this description offered here cannot give you that. If it did, the game would be over. So bless the process and accept it as the greatest gift of the kindest creator. Embrace the process and move through it with peace and wisdom and joy. Use the process and transform it from something you endure to something you engage as a tool in the creation of the most magnificent experience of all time, the fulfillment of your divine self. Do not waste the precious moments of this, your present reality, seeking to unveil all of life's secrets. Secrets are a secret for a reason. Grant your God the benefit of the doubt. Use your now moment for the highest purpose. The creation and the expression of who you really are. Decide who you are, who you want to be, and then do everything in your power to be that. Use what I have told you about time as a framework within your limited understanding upon which to place the constructions of your grandest idea. If an impression comes to you about the future, honor it. If an idea comes to you about a past life, see if it has any use for you. Do not simply ignore it. Most of all, if a way is made known to you to create, display, express, and experience your divine self in ever more glory, right here, right now, Follow that way, and a way will be made known to you, because you have asked. Producing this book is a sign of your asking, for you could not be producing it right now before your very eyes without an open mind and an open heart and a soul which is ready to know. The same is true for those who are reading it, for they have created it too. How else could they now be experiencing it? Everyone is creating everything now being experienced which is another way of saying that I am creating everything now being experienced, for I am everyone. Are you getting the symmetry here? Are you seeing the perfection? It is all contained in a single truth. There is only one of us. Understand that all things are cyclical, including life itself. Understand about the life of the universe. Will it help you to understand about the life of the universe inside you? Life moves in circles. In cycles, everything is cyclical, everything. When you understand this, you become more able to enjoy the process, not merely endure it. 
All things move cyclically. There is a natural rhythm to life and everything that moves to that rhythm. Everything goes with that flow. Thus it is written, for everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under the heavens. Wise is the one who understands, clever is the one who uses it. 